welcome to part you 70 of Go. Grand Theft Auto 5. I you again, and Davey. after our again. little endeavor so what are you with the do IA for me about and Merriweather and the FIB, the FIB the IAA, Dave and wants everyone else, Trevor huh? dead. History's written by the living, okay? And we that is most of it on basically the whole gist of what this phone right conversation is. Will back off. He the wants Trevor we need dead. To deal with he wants Trevor. Michael to do it. Trevor, Michael's what? not going to do it. Try Merriweather. Chinese because, gangsters, let's face it, he doesn't want so to be on. anywhere near Steve that you're uh, Trevor. But not Trevor. Steve. And by the way, He's our wounded hero if you right try now. to go over to the next mission as Michael or down. Trevor, you're not going to be just able to get activate. Me out. So, just a heads up. But until then, let's start the mission. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Wow, talk about hypocrisy. And remember way back in part eight when Stretch got out the hood, I mentioned something about Tynesha having a thing with Lamar. This was the scene where she showed genuine concern. Not because of the fact that Franklin was Lamar's friend. She showed genuine concern because, quite frankly, he was the last person she slept with before she decided to get out the hood and actually marry a doctor who's rich. Primarily being a gold digger. Hold on. So yes, uh, yes, Franklin's going so over to say? where Lamar is uh, located. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older and reports of a weed operation. Unfortunately, an African you can't switch gang. to Trevor or the Michael buried, until you so, uh, reach that location. The so until then, the you're gonna have to drive likely, all the way over to the mill, mill and probably have to avoid traffic. Shit. Me and my sorry ass driving will more than likely get caught up on something. Not trying to, but. Just saying. And, and I'm gonna cut Thanks, when we get there. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's a long, long trip, so I'll see you at the sawmill. I've already shown off this area before, and we were probably in the mountains dealing with uh, other stuff before we had to leave for Los Santos because of the fact that Trevor went there and abducted Martin Madraza's wife. So that's why I cut this out. But quite frankly, Lamar is here in this sawmill in Blake County and we need to find him and we need to kill all the ballas that stand in there, that stand in our way because you see, Lamar got set up by Stretch. And Lamar still hasn't learned his lesson, which is why I hate Lamar so fucking much, about Stretch not being a trustworthy person. Now here's the thing about Stretch. He, this was the last time you hear his name. 
Again, you will not see this guy until literally the end of the game. Only thing you know is what he's done or what he set up. Stretch pretty much was incognito throughout the entirety of the game. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. Okay, here's the gist. I'm gonna find There's a way three in. different areas that Trevor and um Franklin could go to. Trevor could go to either the underpass. Or he could go to where there's a bulldozer. Here, let me show you on the map. What I'm about to mark is where you need to go with Trevor to make things a lot easier for you. Because going underneath the underpass is outright suicide. If you get too close to the ballas, obviously they're going to see you and shoot you. And, okay, I did not mean to actually, like, open fire. What I meant to do was just run. But unfortunately... You don't have the uh, luxury to drive over there. You got to be on foot. And if you try to go for your truck, you'll abandon the mission. So it'll be in your best interest to try to buff it on foot. Yeah. This is where your stamina comes in, folks. And sorry if that actually skipped, but as I said, your stamina comes into play when it comes down to... Come into these missions where you have to huff things on foot and not be seen. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. All right. Trevor got the bulldozer, and now Franklin is going to be either taking the tunnel or taking the right. Take the right, and you'll form a pincer attack. All right, let's do this. And from there, instead of going over here, you might as well should have went. I should have went to the other road, but this road. I think this works fine too. Although I did get hit a little bit by the ballers, still. <coughs> accuracy is king. You need 70% accuracy to get through this mission 100%, and also a couple of headshots. But that's okay. Because eventually, I'll just be able to move in. <coughs> And Pincer attack those assholes. Meanwhile, Trevor, while in control of the tractor, will actually make you for good cover, so you can just kill off all the ballers without having to worry about <coughs> being shot at, because the tractor can actually take more damage. Anyway, Trevor just went there and bulloed over a truck, and that just blew up a couple of ballers. If you took the underpass, this would have been a lot harder. But, uh, Trevor and Franklin should be able to get through this no problem. <coughs> and why am I using a sniper rifle? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, that's much better. Heavy machine gun works so well. Although this is an accuracy waster, still the heavy machine gun will basically make short work of all the ballers. Lamar Davis, and there's going to be more ballers coming on the right side here. You can see them because all of them will be coming with uh <clears throat> lights on their guns. And as for Michael, you switch front with Michael, you cap a couple of ballers who happen to be on the roof. Here's the problem. If you would have took the middle path, Michael would not have been able to see those guys. It would have forced Michael to have to move in. Hold on. I I, I just saw someone. Or I think Trevor just killed him just now. 
pretty sure there was another person on the roof. Oh, wait, there's somebody shooting at me. And there's somebody on the roof. Hey. Come on out, asshole. Damn it, I missed him. I missed him again. There we go. Well, there went my accuracy. God damn, son. I keep missing that guy. <laughs> I just went wide right. I'm pretty sure there was another person on the roof. Um, where is he? Oh, there's somebody over there. Wait, I see him. And he's right here. Okay, I thought I shot him this time. There we go. Uh, and there's another person right there. <clears throat> there's your snipers. I think that should take care of the cover. We'll switch over to uh, Franklin or Trevor, whichever one comes first. Pretty sure there was another one around here somewhere. Where's the power dude? And although uh, <clears throat> he's been talking about where Michael is, I just got finished clearing the way, leaving you all but one baller. Just one! And he was out of range for Michael anyway, because he was hiding behind the wood uh, pile. And then there's one hiding behind Lamar. There we go. There he is, and with that said, let's hey, go and Mark, find Lamar Davis. Oh. And get him out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and as let's soon as we do, him. we're attacked by Ballas. Try to fight your way out of him. There should be enough... <clears throat> I mean, there should be like several packs of ballers coming in. About three or four of them, as a matter of fact. Lamar will be given a gun to try to defend himself. But even then, Lamar is more than likely a sorry-ass shot. So, on that note, you're gonna have to rely on Franklin, you're gonna have to rely on Trevor, you're gonna have to rely on Michael. Especially Michael. Because there's gonna be some ballers that Franklin and Trevor can't reach. Which will leave Michael to have to deal with them. <clears throat> like, for instance, the ones that are coming right from the background. Michael can deal with the guys that's coming out of the truck. Like, th like this one. And this one. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey! You coming after me? Damn it! How are they strifing and shooting? How did I miss? And there's ballers in the trees that I can't freaking see. Well, there's one I can see. I can see him as plain as day. And there's another one. I can't get to him. I, for some reason, they won't let me drop my periscope. And, oh, well, yeah, I thought I shot him. Okay, fine. I'll switch over to... Uh... Oh, wait, I thought I killed him. Oh, well, let's just switch over to uh, Trevor and kill the last baller. He should be in the vicinity. Oh, he was hiding behind the uh, car. No wonder Michael couldn't get to him. I'm gonna take Lamar. All right, hey. we got Lamar, and now it's time for us to get Can on out of here. Dude? I still ain't met your ass. <laughs> All right, you two, go, 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 go. Now, T, call me, dog. we'll drive away from this area, and if you stay here, because there's gonna be some reinforcements if you stay here, like the ball is chasing you and stuff like that. But, since we killed off all the ballers, right? they won't be able to pursue us. <clears throat> oh, God! Um, yeah, didn't mean to do that. There went the mission time right there, because I fell off the damn mountain. But, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, this wasn't for 100% for the mission, but at the most part, at least I managed to kill off these guys and not die. Because every time I played this mission, I ended up dying. This was actually, like, easy and clockwork compared to, like, the many times I've done missions, or the, I've done this mission in the past. When I did them on Let's Play, I mean, it may not be 100%. As far as missions concerned, but at least it was a good run. 
to the point where I didn't actually die this time around. There's still some health left for all three guys. But whatever the case, we just saved Lamar, and Lamar still doesn't understand that Stretch is evil. Okay, I mean, he already understood that, but he doesn't understand that Stretch set the man up, had no intentions of actually being a friend to Lamar, especially after Lamar foolishly kidnapped D and tried to gain a ransom off of him. Stretch was already a baller the moment he went to jail. But that's the thing he doesn't understand. Even Tynesha, who came from her wedding to inform Franklin of Lamar's capture, <clears throat> knew that Stretch was no good. The only person who finally sees it after being almost killed again is Lamar. <sighs> that's why I keep saying Lamar is a dumbass. I just can't stand the guy. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your But thankfully, thankfully, this will be the last time we ever save Lamar. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. And after this conversation, we're gonna head over to the uh Chamberlain Heights, I guess, and drop off Lamar. But it's gonna be a long, long trip. And that's probably why I'm not gonna get a uh bonus for the mission because of the fact that it took so damn long. Because not only the trip there, but the trip back and on the mountain and how long it took for me to kill the ballers. Yeah. That's all the uh oh and also me doing something stupid like that. All in all, at least I passed the mission on the first try without any deaths. <clears throat> Still, after we dealt with Lamar, well, there's something else that's added on to this too. So, uh, about Michael being told to kill Trevor. Well, again, we're slowly but surely coming to the end. And by the end, I mean, you have to make a choice. And unfortunately, the other person making the ultimatum will be showing up at the final mission. And I'll get to that when we get there. <clears throat> But for right now, the FIB won't just be hassling Michael to kill Trevor, and Trevor, and that's something that I need to explain. If you listen to the FIB or eventually Devin, I might as well not beat around the bush, because we all know who wants Michael dead after what happened several parts ago, which is part 68, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Devin Weston Ma wants Michael dead, and especially after all the shit he pulled with Trevor and Ice with Merriweather, yeah, Michael is definitely number one on a shit list. So, whether you choose Trevor or whether you choose Michael, I say don't choose either. Because yes, even though there's an achievement for getting 100% on every mission in the game, for 100% purposes, you want to spare both of them. Trust me. So on that note, as we head back to Los Santos, I do believe that this long-ass conversation is over. So with that said, let's go on ahead and drop off Lamar and end this. So I guess, I guess what we learned is... Nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a, 
Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours are try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. Yeah! It's not really a tough choice as to who we should keep alive. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, well, at least I got a 60% on that one. Uh, didn't get much headshots, and I lost accuracy, but that's okay. We're pretty much done with this part. I'll see you guys next time in part 71 when Michael's movie Meltdown finally debuts. If somebody doesn't have anything to say about it, see you guys next part.